Okay. Well, you know, kids and migraines, meantime, on the Health Watch now. Tomorrow is Pediatric Headache Awareness Day to recognize tens of thousands of kids suffering what many falsely think is just an adult ailment. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on a patient from Wayne who's now part of a national campaign. She is adorable and she has suffered. You know, the American Migraine Foundation has launched a new awareness campaign called The Real Faces of Migraine. The one face featured in New York's Times Square is a young migraine patient who lives in Delaware County. I turn these lights off and dim these. So you turn the lights off right away yes. when you get in here. Mm -hmm. It's a common routine for 13-year-old Lexi Di Marino, who lives in Wayne. So you need it totally dark? Yes. Climbing into bed with no lights, hoping for relief from her migraine headaches. It's different all the time. Sometimes it's pounding and throbbing, and other times it's like stabbing and it moves around, like around my head. Sometimes it's so bad that I can't move. She's had them for years. It's not common, but about 10% of school-aged children suffer with migraines. When you first heard the word migraine, did you even know what it meant? No, <laughs> my parents had to explain. The severe headaches tend to run in families. Both Lexi's mom and grandmother had them. It's tough, it's sad. You know, you want to help your child and you want to, um, you want to make them better. Lexi's father said she tried a variety of drugs, they don't always work. She had a migraine for, I think it was 110 days, and uh, it was not, it just wouldn't stop. On good days, she's able to practice gymnastics and works hard to keep up academically. School is like really hard because it has like really bright lights and like really loud noises, which can make it worse. It definitely makes it harder to concentrate and study for like tests and stuff. In an effort to raise awareness, Lexi has become one of the faces of a campaign sponsored by the American Migraine Foundation. She's in Times Square, the only um, the only kid up there in that billboard. They were recently in New York to see her face in lights. I hope to eventually help other kids with migraines that have to go through this too because then they'll know like other people have done this and that they know that they're not alone. Now doctors say treating children with migraines is very different from what they can do with adults mainly because of limited research and fewer drugs approved for pediatric use. Lexi and her family hope that changes soon. In addition to that national campaign, they are also raising money for the pediatric migraine program at CHOP. She's really inspirational, mm -hmm. so articulate, mm -hmm. so brave. Yeah, and you never think about it. Like I was saying, I suffer from them as an adult uh, and never that young. I never think about kids and going kids through that too. thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. Thank you. Mm -hmm.